Hello and welcome back to another episode of Internal Rambles. This is your girl Rochelle. If you are new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you for tuning back in. Internal Rambles is an eclectic podcast. My normal episodes releases every Thursday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can reach me pretty much everywhere that you get your podcasts. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio. I even release my audio on YouTube. Sometimes a little bit of a delay, a couple hours, but you can interact with me over there if you so choose. I talk about everything from relationships, my life, my career, trending topics, entertainment, music, pretty much anything that you can think of for the most part. And then my bonus content releases usually towards the weekend, and that can be my reality recaps. Currently, I am recapping season 15 of Married at First Sight, and I am doing periodic recaps of Ready to Love. I also do some music episodes my top five albums of my favorite artists i will be doing a new installment of that soon so like i said it's a very eclectic podcast and i start off my normal podcast episode with either rochelle's rants and or rochelle's rays and today i have a rant and a rave (laughs) lately i have been having both And to be honest, I'm a pretty honest person. I have been having a pretty frustrating week. My rants recently have been work related and just really frustrated. I've been at my agency. I am in the mental health field. I'm not doing direct care. I'm in more of a leadership uh, supervisory role. Um, But I've been at my agency for quite some time. And I'm ready to transition into a different role or leave my agency altogether. And just kind of, I feel a bit stuck, a bit stagnant. And I've been working pretty hard to transition out of my current role. And every time I feel like I'm making some progress, I'm making some leeway, I take four steps, five steps ahead and get knocked three steps behind and just this I thought I was kind of making some headway and getting where I was about to just make a transition and not all is lost maybe I don't know but just this past week kind of got some unfortunate news about an opportunity that I thought was going to be it was about to be my time to shine (laughs) and not all is 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 negative at work it's just it I have a very high stress job and um so yeah I thought an opportunity was gonna pan out and it's not looking so great and just certain things have just not been going your girl's way and so yeah, I've been pretty frustrated and and not every you know I, there's some people that are definitely in my corner but it's just um yeah I just got some unfortunate news and it's just like I've been working really hard to just like get to where I'm trying to go and so yeah I'm just I just felt um really disappointed the last few days and frustrated and I really try not to stay in a negative mood and I really try to push past negative energies I'm all about positive energy and being grateful and I practice daily gratitude but you know I'm human and so really have been low energy the past couple days but I'm pushing past it I'm pushing through yeah I was just I I definitely have been feeling pretty frustrated pretty disappointed disappointed in certain individuals and certain people that you think um have your back they you know true colors they they eventually shine through so just feeling kind of frustrated but um I am grateful for a lot of things so you know, I, I not always lost. So that's my my rant is just that I thought something was going to pan through and it's, it's not looking so hot, but I'm not going to stay there. I'm going to stay grateful. I'm going to keep 
pushing through like you can't hold your girl down and you know I, I do believe um the saying you know when man closes the door god will open up that window for an opportunity and for me and so that's my rant and my rave is just like even though like things have been like not perfect or whatever like there there are like really positive things that are happening so not everything in my life is like peachy keen but I every year I do a goal list and um it's the with the pandemic as I'm sure everyone knows it's like you may have goals or things that you're looking towards and it's like the pandemic has set us down but some of the things recently that I have had on my goal list I've been checking them off and so my rave is just like you know just pushing through like I'm just proud of myself like some things that I really been wanting to do like I've been able to do and I'm crossing off some of them goals so just even though not everything is perfect and I'm not getting to do everything that I want to do and not everything is panning out other things like I, I'm crossing off some major goals man like really positive like wow like keep like being you know I, I am a single woman and I really work hard and I maintain and it's just like wow to be able to do some of the things that I'm, I'm able to do it's just like I'm really proud of myself and I don't always have the energy to do it and to really like maintain and and, and take care of, the bit of my business but it's like who else is going to take care of it there's no one you know <laughs> it's just me so uh some uh, a recent goal I, I just accomplished that and something else is gonna get checked off lord willing next month so it's just like it, it, not everything is negative and I, I that's why it's always important to like practice gratitude even though like other things is looking real cloudy it's like no like you're doing okay so that's my rave just keep pushing keep going i do have a podcast episode about that keep going <laughs> um and not letting that negative self-talk it's easy when when people are barriers or they tell you no or those doors are closing it's easy to get in that mindset of oh man that didn't happen or maybe i'm not qualified for this or maybe i you know maybe i can't do this because i keep those doors keep closing it's like no like those that negative self-talk that pessimism that's you know that's really the devil talking honestly like no like god is still with me i'm still doing okay things are still going well in other areas and it's just it's not it's not a no forever it's just a not yet so that's that <laughs> so let's get on with this podcast i don't have you know this is like i said like in recent podcast episode I have been planning everything. This is another rambling topic. Let's let's go on and continue on this ride. But I do have one thing that I saw on social media that was just like so crazy. And I'm just like, let's talk about it. <laughs> so, um, why is Irv Gotti pillow talking? I don't understand this. Like, I know he has some show where I think it's on BET. He's talking about the the history of Murder Inc. in which a very successful label. You know, it was Ashanti, I think Lloyd, it was Ja Rule. I get it and I get its promo, but he just keeps talking about, I guess supposedly occurred according to him, Ashanti. I don't know if Ashanti's ever confirmed this but he had a relationship with ashanti but he just is spilling all the business by the way i believe supposedly when he was dating ashanti he was a whole married man but he did an episode recently on drink champs and he was just talking about how he was upset about how he learned he didn't know that uh ashanti was dating nelly he found out about it because i guess uh, Shanti and Nelly was at a basketball game and it was like this big uproar because they came through and that's like at the game and that's how he found out about Shanti and Nelly and then also he was talking about how like a song like the happy song that Ashanti did was about him and just all this stuff and it's like bruh first of all like how long ago was it 
uh, Ashanti ain't never talked about no Irv Gotti. Like, we all know about her and Nelly. But also, like, you was a whole married man. Like, male pillow talking. Pillow talking is just, you know, like, what happens behind closed doors need to stay behind closed doors. But also, like, it's just real female-ish. Like, what? And how long ago was this? And clearly he's not over. He, he, he's acting real (laughs) bitter-ish. He's clearly not over Ashanti. It just looks so super crazy. And Nori's just sitting there like, and then what? And then, you know, he's loving it because obviously, you know, that, you know, it's it's news, it's it's ratings. But even on social media, you know, because Nori was like, yeah, Irv not over Ashanti. But it's just, it looks so crazy. Like, he don't understand, I don't think, how crazy he looked. Like, what? How long ago is this? Like, I'm going to need Irv Guy to be like, he should call and let it go. Like, <laughs> oh, gosh. And recently, um, I don't know what concert or whatever, Nelly brought out Ashanti, and obviously they haven't dated in a long time. I'm sure Irv lost his darn mind when he saw that. That probably was like a thorn, like a knife in the side. I don't even know. Like, Irv, have a seat. Like, it's just, if y'all did have a thing, it has been, been, been over. Like, oh my gosh. It just looks so crazy to me. (laughs) One of the things that I was thinking about, too, and just kind of going back to, like, my rant and just how frustrated I am about work is it's important to have, like, hobbies. Like, don't, I, well, if I could have, if I could give, like, unsolicited advice, (laughs) it's, like, it's so challenging, I think, especially if you have, like, a stressful job or you're not happy with job, with your work or like you know it we always say like if you have like a full-time job we spend most of our time at work it's like I know like I was feeling and I still feel this way like I work and sleep I work and sleep and I know like prior to for example doing this podcast like that's what I and especially when I was working overnights like graveyard shift I worked slept worked slept work folk and up was obsessed with sleep because when you work overnight it's like you never feel rested it's so important to like to have that outlet something that you enjoy something that you know, takes you away from stresses of work stresses of home so i'm thankful that i finally and i have been wanting to start a podcast i've done other things other you know writing things etc and i just hadn't done anything in years and this podcast sometimes is a labor of love because sometimes I'm tired or like I'm like when the heck am I gonna record and when I initially started this podcast and I know everybody got a podcast right that's like the whole thing like (laughs) everybody got a podcast um but I was like okay I'm gonna record my main content on this day and my bonus content on and it's like it never I, I record whenever I can record um but it is just like it's an outlet I enjoy it it's entertainment for me and yeah and I love going to concerts but honestly I hadn't gone to concerts pre you know with the pandemic I just started going to concerts again this year hadn't gone two three years and I'm still really mindful of I'm not really trying to be out in crowds like that um, I re- I'm really not, I have done some traveling this year, but I'm really not traveling like I would have pre-pandemic. And I, it used to be my goal to read and I, my goal used to be back in the day to read a book a month. Can't seem to get there. And then it's like, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll do halfway, six books a year I can't even get to six I can't focus enough and sit down and read so I was kind of doing like at least about three four books a year I can't even do I start books and and then I can't finish them so I am there is a book club that me and my friend my my friend follows it and the there's I think it's two women African-American women black women 
that run the book club and so they have a whole like syllabus and they do like live discussions on youtube facebook and it's a whole thing i haven't my friend does it as much as she can i i'm still trying to do it because <laughs> and the thing about it is it's my friend is an avid reader and but what she loves about it is it's books that she wouldn't t she wouldn't typically read so it kind of steps it gets her it gets it allows her to step outside of her comfort zone and so i i love it and so i just i haven't been able to follow it so i'm gonna get there i'm gonna get there <laughs> So if I could start read, get back to reading again, even if I can get like the four to six books a year, I would feel better about myself. Um, it's important to have just those outlets, I think, and just those those times that you can enjoy yourself away from and in time for yourself. I think that that's that that protected time for yourself. I think it's just so important. So I'm a real um, I'm a real champion and cheerleader for hobbies like hobbies is not just for like young folks like if you're 80 I hope you have a hobby <laughs> and like some people love to like garden and some people love to like the big thing right now for some people is just like rollerblading like you know you see Usher on his roller aids like hey whatever is great for you I, I love it if you like it I love it unless it's healthy and legal in my last podcast episode, I was talking about my birthday and birthday planning, and I talked to my great friend today, and she put a little damper unintentionally, and she really didn't, on one of my birthday plans. <laughs> so I, um, I talked about how, or did I mention what I wanted to do? Oh, I didn't even say what I wanted to do. Well, I'll mention it. So um, I did say that I wanted to get a tattoo, with it, but I'm not talking about that. So another thing that I wanted to do is I haven't gotten... A massage I used to do this periodically for my birthday I haven't done that in a great couple of years and so I'm like girl you need to go and treat yourself and get a massage so there's two places that I tend to frequent for massages but the one place I was like my place I used to get massages there pedicures eyebrows like that was for many years when the pandemic hit I had not been there and I had recommended the place to her so she was like we are we're born in the same month but unfortunately she's a Virgo <laughs> I'm sorry no I love her um but she was going to try it out and then she was like do you know your place is closed down and I was like excuse me say what <laughs> because that's where I had I would I there's two places that I usually go and I was like you know what? I'm going to go to my main place and I was like I don't know what you're talking about she was like yeah the website da, 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 da. and I went to the website and when I tell you I was so broken hearted I didn't even know I mean I had probably been going there for at least Oh gosh, I'm gonna say like off and on about 12 years, and I don't even know if that's that's probably more. She, this woman, has had that place for 32 years, and she closed it down. She actually, now ironically, she has a new place literally like five minutes from me, but she's not doing, she's doing more like cosmetic, like makeup, like permanent like microblading like she's not doing like a full on she's not doing like mas massages and all that stuff so I'm like she's down scaled so basically I wouldn't be able to get a massage and I'm like and I could still go to my other place but I was like well god darn it but you know all good things must come to an end and you know the pandemic and I don't know if this is why um, I'm sure like I, I, kudos to her that she's still able to have a business you know but I'm sure that the pandemic has affected a lot of people and maybe she just wants to do something different I mean 32 years in the business you know people switch up so yeah that's that was really unfortunate and I was thinking too when I got off the phone with my friend like I don't know why but it 
it, usually around my birthday, definitely within my birthday month, I get very pensive, I get very reflective, and I kind of think over, not over the last, not only over the last year, but just kind of over just like my life, and I don't know, it's like a really interesting thing, and just kind of like where I've been, and where I am, and where I want to go, and I was just like, I don't think I want to do that this year, <laughs> and it's, it's not anything that I purposely do, it just, it really just is it just happens it just I really just get in a very reflective mode and it's really to me it's very healthy um and it, it it's uh, there's almost a, a catharticness to it just to be um because it really I think at the end it could no matter what the emotions ends up being at the end by the time I hit my birthday I'm usually very content and very optimistic and but sometimes when I get reflective I there there do be a bit of um it's not always positive emotions all the time so um I just kind of don't think I feel like going through that again and by the way I am aware that I do make up my own words and catharticness is not a word it's catharsis <laughs> Um, but I, um, I, if I get reflective, I get reflective. It, it, I, it, like I said, I don't really have control over it. Usually I think it is healthy to be reflective and, and to, to reflect over what you're going through and where you've been because, um, I think it's, it's helpful in not repeating negative behaviors and actions and um yeah but I was just thinking I was like oh man it's about to be your birthday month and you know how you get <laughs> but um it is what it is and then we'll see how it goes but I it, it, the negative if there is any negative emotions I never stay there and and there isn't really I've lived a I've I haven't lived a per haven't had a perfect life I've definitely been through I've been through a lot but I've lived a blessed life so it's it, that's why like I there there isn't like negative things to really sit in and just there's no woe is me like to be drowning in so yeah that's that <laughs> So kind of speaking of, because I'm random and this is uh, internal rambles, I, one of my, um, this is season two of internal rambles and my most popular episode of season one was pandemic dating. I need to go on a date. <laughs> I've not, I can't even tell you last time I've been on a date. I don't know where to meet men at. I'm sorry. I don't know. But, um... I don't even know like where like what would be a great date I mean I I I always think like just going out on a nice dinner or I know some people say like you shouldn't go get drinks on a first date why if you go to a nice lounge or a nice bar where it is it's a nice ambiance and it's a nice you can get you a nice beverage you don't get lit but you know you have a nice couple of drinks, nice couple of martinis, and the conversation is good. That's fine. Like, I'm just trying to see if I can deal with you <laughs> a couple of hours, and then you you go from there. Um, but I I've mentioned uh as a podcast that I listened to Million Dollars Worth of Game with Wallow and Gilly the Kid, and Gilly the Kid made a post with Wallow where they were talking about uh like a first date and Wallow was saying <laughs> that a great date is to is for a guy to take a woman grocery shopping and fill up her tank because he's he's helping her out like he's putting he's filling up her cabinets he's he putting a tank of gas you know and while you're grocery shopping you could be talking getting to know her getting to know about her life and then you know she's good to go she got food for the week 
and she got a tank of gas for the week because it food is expensive and gas is expensive like you hooking her up but you can you can talk to her while you're grocery shopping <laughs> And Gilly was like, yo, you crazy. Like, don't no female or woman want to go grocery shopping on a first date. And like, but mad women in the comments was like, yo, fill my pantry up. Fill my fridge up. And do you know how high gas is? Put some, like, mad women were agreeing with Wallow. And like, I love Wallow. I think he... He, he goes against the grain. He's very, like, he's a unique guy. But I had to think about, like, I'm not saying I want to go to a grocery store. But, like, I appreciate, listen, groceries is high. Like, you know, and the women, some women was like, yo, don't take me to, like, you know, food and things. Like, yo, take me to Whole Foods. Like, I want, I want some good groceries. But, you know, like, it shows that you, like, you care about their well-being. And it's it's a date that's going to last. Because them, them food, that food is going to last. Yo, that full tank of gas, unless you have to drive, like, far from work, that gas going to last. And it's off the cuff. It's outside of the box. But mad women, like, I, like, I think Gilly thought that women was going to be, like, wallow tripping but mad women was like yo like no get me some groceries <laughs> put some gas in my tank <laughs> so i thought that was so i mean i'm not saying i, I don't know like i i just think i don't know like i think i would be like you want to take me where but then i don't know if i would pass up some groceries i don't know i don't i I mean, I, I hope there would be a follow-up date because I think that's just kind of like, where we going to go? We we going to Whole Foods? But, I mean, you going to pay for some Whole Like, that's an expensive date. That is a pricey date, honestly. And it's it's the it's the date that's going to keep on giving. It makes sense, though. Like, he was speaking some real stuff. I, I mean, I'm not, I honestly, I will say, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> In this day and age right now, with how do you know how much when I be leaving the grocery store I I would never before spend this much on groceries like I don't even buy groceries like a normal person anyways like groceries is expensive and gas thankfully like I I honestly I, I'm blessed I don't work I work from home mostly but I do go or but I'm if I had to go to work every day Put, put me some gas in my car you know it's 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 different and I think sometimes that that's different and positive is what is a turn on you know for women I'm not I'm not mad at wallow I'm not mad at it so one of the things recently I have been doing periodically is my entertainment recommendations and i love cooking shows if you are not new here you would know that and i don't think i've talked about this this is a show that is in its second season the first season only had six episodes i hope that it has more this season and it's called alex versus america it is starring Alex Gornicelli, who is an Iron Chef. You would know her from, I have obviously, the Iron, Iron Chef show. But also, she has been on Chopped. She has been on multiple Food Network shows. I adore her. And the host is Eric Ajapong. I hope I didn't say his name wrong. And basically, it's kind of similar to, I would say like a beat Bobby Flay where chefs compete against her and I adore it I love it I, I mean she's an amazing amazing chef I love Eric Ajapong too he's a chef he actually also hosts um own networks oh let me let me get this it's a soul food show let me get the name of the show correct the great soul food cook-off he's actually I don't know if he's like a ho or I can't remember uh he's either the host and or one of the main judges of that show and eric was on top chef before and he is just he's everywhere he's a, incredible um so yeah so my if you love cooking shows cooking competitions 
the Alex versus America show. I watch it on uh, the Discovery app. But I'm, I, let me see. The Discovery Plus app, but I think it's a Food Network show. Let me... Alex versus America is is on the Food Network. Yep. So I watch it on Discovery Plus, but it is a Food Network show. So just a little uh, entertainment recommendation. If you do love food competitions, I would recommend that show. And if you do remember Alex Granichelli from Chopped or Iron Chef, Iron Chef. <laughs> Iron Chef. I adore her. So check it out. And today's song of the podcast, I'm going to take it on back to one of my all time favorite artists, Jagged Edge. And this is from their Jagged Little Thrill album. And this is the song goodbye i just love jagged edge i've seen them multiple times i've actually met half of jagged edge i met wingo and kyle the sweetest sweetest guys definitely a very joyful encounter it was brief i mean it wasn't that long but got to hang out with them for a little bit and yeah i just love jagged edge like i said i i don't even i can't even remember how i've seen them at least four to five times in concert love them the song is goodbye they have just incredible voices just that great great r&b soul check it out if you have never heard of it it is just a great r&b song so taking it back <laughs> and thank you for listening listen like I said you can catch me pretty much everywhere that you get your podcast I appreciate all of you check me out on YouTube you can search for me by typing in internal rambles no space I will pop up if you want to interact with me let me know about what anything that I talk about give me some feedback some topics you want me to cover some questions if you have any relationship questions or whatever i would love to interact with all of you i appreciate everything subscribe to me tell your family and friends about me take care of yourselves and if you are able to take care of each other and until next episode talk to you soon